everybody, it's Doug from Two Wheeled Exploration Adventure and Training. We're out in the garage today. I just wrapped up an installation of the Wonderlic headlight guard here on the BMW GSA 1250. If you were to damage the front cover on your headlamp on these bikes, it's about $45 for that initial cover. The entire headlamp on these things is about $1,000. So it's a good insurance policy to invest in a headlight guard. On Tammy's bike back here on her 1200, we actually had installed the Alt Rider product, solid product, nothing wrong with it, about $185 shipped to the house. The one here from Wonderlic, comparable price, I had a 10% off coupon, so by the time I had it shipped here, it was about $175. I can tell you, you're gonna be frustrated doing the install on this, but hear me out, it's a solid product, take your time, it'll all work out. I laid out all the parts yesterday and dry fitted items. They do include a picture, uh, diagrams here, their color. And if you look at these, lay out all your pieces on your table. I have a table out here in the garage now that I've been working off of. Line up all your pieces. There's a second uh, photo in here on how to uh, attach the uh, Lexon glass to the metal plate. There's actually four metal sleeves that drop in there and then you run your screws through the metal. And I kept looking at that going, their photo is upside down, but actually when you install those screws into those sleeves, it actually compresses that rubber sleeve up and holds that Lexon glass to the metal plate. Uh, that was one of my frustration points in doing the install. Um, the videos that I had seen, uh, the other folks that had done this installation, it actually stripped a lot of the body parts off the left and right side of the bike. My wife loves me. She came out in the garage and helped me and we were able to do this install without taking off any body parts. Um, I was actually able to pull back on both sides to be able to drop these bottom arms in. There's a nut that drops in through the top and then a bolt and a um, washer that come up from underneath. This was actually the easiest part of the install was the, these two bottom pieces. We got that knocked out in about five minutes. Um, when you do your installation onto the bike, don't tighten anything down until you have it all lined up. If you tighten one side down, you're gonna end up having to untighten it. It needs to be loose until you get everything aligned, kind of dry fitted onto the bike. That's my other um, word of advice to you. So one of the benefits of the Wonderlic product is it does drop down. So you can get in there and clean this. On the Alt Rider product back over here, the screen actually does pop all the way off. It's got little rubber, four little rubber sleeves in there uh, with pins that are mounted to that screen that you can pull the whole thing off to be able to clean it. Um, be very helpful during love, love bug season to be able to clean both those bikes. Um, this one, it's a little bit easier, I think, to get in there to get to the, um, the headlamp to actually do the cleaning. So solid product. Um, again, 175 bucks. If you don't have the coupon, you're probably looking at about 185 getting it shipped. The Alt Rider product, about $185 um, off the Alt Rider um, page there. Either way, great investment, gives you good peace of mind. Um, I'm looking forward to getting out there and trying it out. Uh, Tammy and I have a trip up to South Carolina uh, coming up here, taking off pretty soon. So I'll give this thing a good shakedown going to do some off-road riding. Um, one other thing, both Wonderlic and Alt Rider offer a metal, um, a mesh plate that goes over the front versus the, the Lexon or the polycarbonate. Actually have that for Tammy's bike. I think it's fine to just leave the, the Lexon or the polycarbonate screen on there, even if you're riding off-road. Uh, you probably don't need to go to the expense to order those. I would be comfortable with just leaving this, um, the, the um, polycarbonate uh, or Lexon glass is what they're calling it in the, um, on the website. So I hope you found this helpful. I'll put a link to both products down in the video description. Thanks for tuning in. Like and subscribe. It always helps me. Thank you very much. We'll see you out on the road. Ride safe.